you know, when we do uh, show uh, an unusual project to a developer in New York, they ask us, have you done this before, right? The client in China asked me, are you sure it's never been done before? So he wanted to be absolutely sure that this would be the first time something like this would be done in the world. So that explains the different mentality and the reason why you are seeing so much um, truly utopian architecture in Beijing and in China right now. It's a dynamic architecture. It's an architecture that happened in time, made of hardware, software, and content. The wall is uh, our idea. It, it's been a, a response to a, a commission for a, a generic curtain wall envelope of an entertainment center that was designed by a Chinese architect. There was a very surprising to the client to see uh, what we proposed. We had to give him uh, an understanding of uh, what the wall you know, looks like during the day and, and is one of the performances, the absorbing and transforming uh, solar exposure into energy. And then the transformation into different stages of performance until nighttime with the showcase of digital art. We are not trying to make this building look like a flower, but this building, in fact, in particular the media wall, in fact, behave as a flower in, in the way that reflects the daily cycle that absorb energy during the day and release it at night. The self-sufficiency and the vulnerability to the context and to the circumstances of the performance. So it's our definition of sustainability. It's an entirely new medium, and so we need a new content. This is a extremely low resolution. You have to think there is a one point every three feet. If you look at Times Square, you understand that there has been no critical uh, transformation from sitting uh, in your living room and watching television to the experience of traveling in a car at a certain speed and experiencing a fraction of a second of uh, image on, on an urban screen. The low resolution is a way of responding to this obsession on IRS, on amount of quantity of information, size, uh, density of information, speed of information. The question that we are posing is precisely uh, how much information and what type of information uh, you need to communicate and to interact through this very new medium. Well, if you like, it's the same lesson that we learned from pointillism. Uh, there is a moment where points blur and you start reading the figure, not uh, uh, each, each point singularly. So uh, what is that level? That has to be tested, that has to be invented. There is nothing that we could look at as a ex previous experience. We, had to, we could only test uh, first digitally and then uh, physically with prototypes, uh, taking thousands of pictures and videos, having uh, uh, light performances and changing the uh, level of translucency of the glass panels and measuring the light and understanding uh, what is that you perceive. The software is a very related to the design of the building itself. Uh, so you cannot make a distinction uh, between uh, one and the other. We have been developing the simulator, a software application for a PC and Mac now uh, that allows to simulate the experience of content projected on the wall. And we did that uh, at the very, very beginning. I like to work with digital artists uh, because they have an understanding of the ultimate goal and, and what we are trying to achieve is not only programming, it's something uh, that goes beyond that. We have uh, an artist in China that wants to uh, launch a new video game on the facade and then we have 
an artist that is actually experimenting with macro uh, photography with large uh, en enlargement of uh, body parts on the on the screen. We have all range of reactions. Thank you.